a glimpse at married life, not only at home, but also at school. And Jack's been asking some imponderable questions this week. I'm Michaela Williams. I'm Ryan Sampson. Sit back and relax because NHS TV Live starts right now. The sophomore class is sponsoring a concession stand at the Destination Imagination Tournament at Hatfield Elementary on February 10th from 9 to 3. If you would like to volunteer to help, please sign up at the link below or contact Ms. Ovula in room 2306. STEM will be taking orders for Chick-fil-A Valentine's cookies in the Mixmaster again today during Invest. These cookies cost $3 and will be delivered on Valentine's Day by the Chick-fil-A Cal himself. If you miss them today, don't worry because you can always order through any STEM council member. The NHS Fringe Club is fundraising by selling love locks like those found on the bridge in Paris. It is a tradition for couples to write their name on a lock and then throw the key in the Seine River, symbolizing their eternal love. If students would like to proclaim their love, locks are available to purchase until February 14th in room 2306. Texans, you know what they say, a couple that teaches together stays together. NHS TV reporter Austin Williams has a story on a special couple here at Northwest. Education is obviously an important factor when it comes to teaching a class of students, but another important factor that goes into teaching is teamwork. And there is a married couple on campus who's the perfect example of just that, Mr. and Mrs. Spear. The Spears believe it to be necessary to always have a plan when it comes to staying on track with the busy life that is being teachers. Grading papers, planning lessons, or just trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Then there's also cooking dinner, doing laundry, and other tasks at home. So, they work together to get everything done. It's actually easier if we kind of trade off. So, if I make dinner and he grades, or he makes dinner and I grade, stuff like that, it's easier to do, to kind of tag team on that sort of thing. The Spears met at a church when they were both in college, but they didn't really notice each other until they ironically were in the same calculus class. Since then, the Spears have been a happy, healthy couple, have been married for over 35 years, and have raised a family together. We have three children together. Um, I have a picture on the wall here. Ben is our oldest. He was born in uh, 85. And then John is 86, and Michael tagged along sometime after that. With Valentine's Day coming up, couples all around might be planning to take their special someone to a fancy candlelit dinner in the city, but not the Spears. The Spears plan on having dinner together in their home because it's not where they are that's important to them. Spending their evening together is just enough. This has been Austin Williams, NHS TV. We are very happy to see Mr. and Mrs. Spear working so well together in and out of the classroom. Now this week's Texans on Main Street is sure to get the gears in your head spinning. If you try to fail and succeed, what have you done? Have you failed or have you succeeded? I think you've succeeded because you succeeded in failing. So even though it was a fail, you wanted to fail, so that's a success. Fail to succeed. Oh no, you've succeeded. You failed to fail, but you succeeded while trying to fail. It's a paradox, there's no real answer to this. All right, if you had to eat, either dog or cat food for the rest of your life, what would you do? Well, as somebody who has both dogs and cats, cats seem to throw up their food far more. That is I true. Feel like dog food would probably be the better choice. Die. Die. Um, actually, I'm working on human kibble right now. It has a shelf life of basically forever. MSRP? Um, yes. Why are they called buildings if they're already built? I don't know. Shouldn't hmm. they just be called built? Built? Because they're done. That's true. I think we should write a letter. We should. That. Mr. President. Built. <laughs> so, Michaela, would you rather eat cat or dog food? Um, I have a dog, so I'm going to take my chance with dog food. And isn't cat food like full of like tuna? Yeah. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> 
Texans, remember that many of our student athletes are signing letters of intent this morning. So after the show, be sure to go support them in the North Gym. Also, Texans, our apologies if you're looking to get a love lock there in room 604, not 2304. <laughs> Sorry. Tune in tomorrow as we recognize a few black artists as you may not know contributed to American culture. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.